in this video I'm going to share with you five tips for you a new dog owner or a regular dog owner I'm going to share with you five tips that no other dog trainer probably shares with you all that and more coming up if you want to learn the negative effects of treat training which causes your dog to develop bad behaviors and health issues make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified about our next video okay my number one tip to you as a dog owner is to start training your dog as early as possible start at puppy age many dog owners they wait until their puppy is older and then they start training but you have to start training your puppy as soon as you get it now training i don't mean to go and do formal training with your puppy but start doing the basics hey. wording just to introduce the words hey. to your puppy and then start gradually Stay. adding more technical no. and formal kind of training to your puppy as your puppy grows up from the age of three months and older just start training your puppy seriously don't wait until your puppy is older your puppy can learn everything faster and better when it's young and pure so start training early Tip number two, start training your dog using play and praise reward system rather than using treats or food. When you start using treats or food at a young age with your puppy, you start creating dependence on treats for both you and your dog. Trust me, you don't need to use treats or food to train your dog, to start training your dog. Dog training using food or treats is a very old fashioned from early 19th centuries this idea of dog training using treats has started and it's a very outdated system and it's 2021 and it's time to change the way we look at dogs the way we train dogs the way we do things with dogs new studies have shown that we don't need to use treats or food to train dogs so don't depend on treats or food instead focus on training your dog using play and praise reward system for 15 minutes a day and you will get great results oh hey there so the next tip that i have is keep your dog on a leash for the first year yes you want to keep your dog on a leash as much as possible indoors and outdoors keep it under control so your dog learns that you are in charge you're in control so your dog or your puppy can learn to take cues from you this is very important animal parents they do it in the wild they do it naturally with their puppies with their young ones but when it comes to humans and owing a dog what they do is as soon as they get a puppy or a dog they start off leashing the dog and that translates to the dog or the puppy that you are not in charge they can depend on you you want your puppy or your dog to depend on you and the way you can do that is by using leash simple leash can become a great tool to creating that connection and bond between you and your dog so don't off leash your dog don't tempt to be off leashing your dog for the first year use that opportunity and create bond training connection all that good stuff for the first year and you'll get great results hey if you're getting benefits from my videos and you're learning a new thing in this video and also you want to learn the new way of training dogs make sure to subscribe to the channel and let's continue okay the next tip that i have also is going to be surprising or you may find it a little bit uncomfortable but you have to teach your puppy or your dog to learn both positive and negative of life it can't just be positive positive or negative negative to your dog or puppy you need to teach them to learn to experience life in both positive and negative way that way you are creating a balance for your dog that is more realistic so your dog can learn faster and better so the next tip that i have is start training your dog in a segments in levels so what i mean is don't go from a to c in a overnight you want to go from A to B and C and D and on and on. So start going slowly. Don't take your dog from living room to the dog park and expect to get results. That is going to be fast for your dog to learn, even for you. So don't have expectations from your dog to learn quickly because it takes time for a puppy or a dog to learn. But if you do it properly, if you go from living room to backyard for instance and from backyard to front yard that is 
more logical for your puppy or your dog to learn than going from the living room to the dog park and expect your dog to learn or give you the behavior that you are expecting. So take your time to go from your home to the dog park for about six months or even a year to train your dog slowly to the point that your dog learns and you get results. So if you want to learn how fast to go and how to train your dog, where to train your dog to get better results, I will link a video right here that you can go ahead and watch that and I'll see you in that video.